Fresh and Fit, the masters, the pioneers of the alpha male podcast formula. These guys unfortunately have suffered something very devastating to their channel. Guys, we, we the channel has been kicked off the YouTube partner program. Just keep it straight with If you look right now, you can't even super chat or You can't even remember. super chat right now. Yep. Uh, so this is the beginning of the end of this era. So we are in trolling chat, so. Yeah. Well, isn't that quite unfortunate? And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, man. I actually feel really bad because if you guys don't know this, they have about 20 different people working for them, 20 different staff. And now that they've been kicked out of the YouTube program, they don't exactly have a strong stream of income heading their way, which means now, the people who work for them, they're most likely gonna get laid off, a good portion of them. I mean, Myron still has his book, Women Deserve Less, but I highly doubt that that's gonna be a bestseller. But I still have to give credit where credit is due. Believe it or not, Myron Gaines, he actually sold that book and it did pretty well. It ended up getting about like 2,000 reviews on Amazon, which means that he probably sold a good amount of books. But I wanna go ahead and read a couple of the reviews because I really need to see what some people had to say after they read this book. So it reads, the truth hurts. That's why it's important to read this book. Ladies, don't take it personal. He's very direct. Try to understand what he's saying, not how he said it. You know what, man? I wanna go ahead and help you guys understand one thing, okay? You know how that phrase is thrown around, facts don't care about your feelings? I never thought that that was true. The phrase that I believe that is actually true is feelings don't care about your facts. You have to be able to win the person's trust and their feelings in order for them to listen to you. I mean, think about it, man. When you tell somebody the truth, do you think that after you tell them the truth, they're gonna listen to you? Because after you tell them the truth, they're gonna be really upset, aren't they? So they're not gonna wanna listen to you. And I'm sure that there's gonna be some people that are gonna be like, oh, well, you know, after you tell them the truth, then they'll calm down and realize that they're wrong. That's only true if you've already earned the person's respect. Otherwise, if the person doesn't respect you, why would they listen to you? Here's another review that is totally unbiased. All the one-star reviews are such haters. This book is a must for every man in the Western countries. Could save your life and will save you from wasting, wasting time and money Myron, you are the best red pill community. Okay, so obviously it's not a bunch of feminists that are lining up to purchase this book, okay? It's the entire red pill community and of course Myron's heart and supporters. And this is a good thing because Myron's gonna need all the support he can. And he's already advised his community to support the show. Otherwise, uh, men out there, young men, aren't going to be able to get to the message that Myron is spreading. And, and my thing is guys, um, more than ever, <laughs> real talk, more than ever, I know a lot of you guys send me messages and I trust me, I look at them. I really do look at them. And as a matter of fact, I save them too. Cause I sent some of them to fresh today. Yeah. When you guys send me your DMS and say, yo, you saved my life. Yo, you sent me a picture of your credit score. Yo, my girl is making sandwiches now or whatever it is. Right. Um, that really means a lot to us. And we like, for real, if we've impacted your life and we've saved it, we need you guys to save us now. Yeah, and I totally agree with this. Um, just because it didn't benefit my life in any way or I didn't take their advice because I disagree with a lot of stuff that they say, just because it didn't work for me or it doesn't work for me doesn't mean that it doesn't work for somebody else. And if it worked for that person and you felt like Myron and Fresh have changed your lives for the better, then I'm not gonna hate if you support them. Why would I? And I really gotta hand it to Myron in some way because I mean, he really does live what he preaches and he loves what he does so much. He's truly passionate. I mean, he, he even cried. He cried on this video. So I left a job that I truly loved to do this, right? Because I shouldn't be admitting this, but saving children, right? That was great. But saving you guys is better. You know what, man? Honestly, it breaks my heart to see Fresh and Fit in this position. It really does. But honestly, man, it, I mean, who are we kidding? Like we knew this was gonna happen. I mean, even a psychic could have predicted that this was gonna be the outcome. I mean, over and over, you guys have in some way violated the community guidelines on YouTube. And here's a couple of clips and you guys tell me whether this is the case or not, whether they violated community guidelines, whether they barely reached the line or they ended up crossing the line. I mean, I have no choice but to leave with her too. So okay, I then mean, get out. I'm not, I'm not going to get nothing out unless you call the 
the police on, if you're talking to me like that. You're going to get out right now. You, you're going to call the police. No, if you're, you're talking out. to me like that. You're going to get out. You're going to call the police you're gonna if out. you're talking to me like that. This place, you're going to get the You're going to call the police. Only day. I'm telling you now, you put your hands on me twice. You do it one more time, ooh, I'm going to grab you by your hair and throw you the out. So you're not going to do shit. Okay. Just leave. Clown world. Clown world. <laughs> damn, you're bigger than I thought. God damn. Oh, God. <laughs> Sumo wrestler. <laughs> you know, it's funny, right? Uh, what? Mo showed me a picture of her last year. Really? She, she bro, she gained like at least two people. <laughs> <laughs> like two people. What the fuck? Nigga said she gained, uh, two, she people. gained two people, man. She acts and behaves that way, and, and uh, she's fat as fuck. Yeah, as you guys can see, it, it's pretty bad. And you can take a look at some of the community guidelines. You can see that there's clear violations. If you take a look at the fine print, uh, I promise you, you're going to find almost everything wrong that they've done in those community guidelines. And the thing is that you don't even have to watch their videos. You can find the violations even on their titles and thumbnails. She wants chivalry, but wants to be a hoe. Here's another one. This psycho chick went absolutely crazy. Here's one that says you're replaceable. Her fat ass can't lock down a high value man. So when I see Myron walk off camera because he's about to let out a tear, or I see Fresh sitting there as if he's about to meditate, like my dude, just take a look at your body of work. Even a fortune cookie could have predicted that you're going to be demonetized. You know, so I, it's hard for me to feel bad. Honestly, man, it's a sad day for the red pill community because the only one that's still kicking and thriving, at least for now, is the whatever podcast. And I'm sure that someday they're gonna be targeted as well. So let's go ahead and reflect. Sneeko, gone. Andrew Tate, gone. He doesn't want anything to do with the Red Pill community. Fresh and Fit, demonetized. Just Pearly Things, gone. I haven't heard anything from her. Trollo Tomasi, trolled by Brittany Venti and Lauren Southern. Perhaps Destiny had a bit of a hand in there, but I doubt it. It seems it's more or less Brittany Venti and Lauren Southern. And Donovan Sharp, he was eliminated and kicked out of the group a long time ago when Abba and Preach exposed them for, ha for being a hypocrite. There's no one left other than the whatever podcast. And these guys, I'm pretty sure they're going to be targeted as well. It's a, it's not only a dark day for the Red Pill community, but I believe that this is probably the beginning of the end for the Red Pill community. It's ending and it's unfortunate because the Red Pill community, they started off with good intentions. They wanted to point out the hypocrisies of society, how if a man is around kids or children, uh, people immediately have the impression that this is a predator rather than oh he could potentially be a father to these kids you know it was it was those times when the red pill community was very interested in exploring why do why does society think this or why does why do men only buy drinks for women and never the other way around it was these questions that were very important at least in my opinion to ask and to have answers to but we never got to those because unfortunately the people who hijacked the community they had nefarious intentions it's unfortunate and uh yeah man we've gotten to this point and i'm very curious to see what's gonna happen to the red book community so uh, other than that man that's all i have for you guys and yeah hopefully you guys learned something today